Hi, and welcome to this chat of mine uh, where I'll be talking about schizophrenia, uh, psychiatry, some of my history with schizophrenia and psychiatry, uh, what were the solutions for me, what helped me, what assisted me, what was the therapeutic uh, deal that could assist me, that were, su were supportive for me. So basically I learned today that I'm born schizophrenic. Um, I have before said that schizophrenia is there for a form of autism. That is not so. I made a mistake. But from mistakes is how we learn. So obviously we are learning lots as humanity. I would uh, imagine that me walking through this life with schizophrenia have taught me very much as well. Um, I was diagnosed as schizophrenia when I was 25. Back then, there was no clear, clean-cut explanation to what is schizophrenia. The doctors did not have a clear and clean-cut definition of what is schizophrenia. It was practically non-existent. What they knew or what they worked from was from the symptoms and from symptoms uh, narrowing down the diagnose to schizophrenia from the symptoms and not really knowing or being uh, certain about uh, what were the deeper points um, of mind beyond that of symptoms. So when I was diagnosed with schizophrenia in 2003, I, uh, I was basically uh, addicted to street drugs, to alcohol, to porn and such. So basically um, what I would learn from 2003 Till 2012 was that I would go through lots and lots of self-sabotage, addictions and pain and disturbance and anxiety and fear and anger. Lots and lots of problems basically where I would not know for certain what is my illness. I would be this ping pong ball in and out of hospital walls. And never really settling, never finding sanity because there was no real recipe or definition that could be described to me for what does it mean to be schizophrenic or yet again, what does it mean to be human? So, um, going through this, my, my, my upbringing, my programming from childhood and so on, and all that I experienced until, until I was diagnosed with schizophrenia, uh, which is basically a lot of disturbance, a lot of pain, you know, programming, programmed by parents, by society, by school, by culture, basically lots of lies and uh, like my school was really just a hell and and knowing that today that you know everything is in reverse basically the whole the whole system that we have been living within and under and beneath and all that 
or the system, the system that we're living in, we call it capitalism, a matrix, or the mind, or Marxism, whatever you call it, the system of money and government have been in complete reverse for a very long, for, 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 since, since ages. So basically, um, like for instance, Jesus was the first demon to walk on earth, obviously. It's all in reverse. De Jesus was the first demon to walk on earth. His process. So looking at my life, um, since 2012 and a little bit before that, learning to hack my mind, learning to understand my mind, learning to direct myself as my mind, and realizing from learning to understand my mind how my life had been in just upside down really. My life had been in reverse. My life had been opposite of what is good or right. So uh, realizing myself as the component, the unit that needs to be altered, I needed to learn myself to know, basically. I needed to understand myself. And to be able to learn myself to know, to know myself and to understand myself with my mind, my consciousness, my, my body, my beingness, and everything in between and beyond that, I needed to forgive myself and a process of self-forgiveness is something that we are all going to face. Now I rec recommend to start a self-forgiveness process in this life, here now, where we're at in earth now, and not wait till the afterlife because then we have a more marginalized uh, existence. We should, we should know to appreciate life that we have now and the opportunity to create something better of ourselves and, and, and on the basis of that uh, start the process of forgiving ourselves in this life. That would be what is best for all. That would be common sense. So, since I started to walk with Destiny, Destiny Eye Process, uh, in 2012, a little bit before that, um, I started to uncover parts of me that I had suppressed and denied for a very long time. A very long time. I had suppressed and denied for all sorts of layered programming and energies and polarities and beliefs and whatnot within us, within us my own uh, mind and body and beingness and quantum mind and beyond that uh, relationships. In particular looking at in particular looking at the mind and physical connection. The connections, the bundles, the conspiracy, the knots, the pain, the, the traps between that are programmed in me before, from before birth, the connections between the mind and the physical. That is where self-forgiveness is so unique and just plain brilliant to, to assist self in understanding self, understanding the, the connections between the mind and the physical. That's some real potential. That's, some re that's a real challenge for you to learn to understand, to start to forgive, to start to realize and understand self as the creator of one's connections, one's conspiracies, traps between the mind and the physical. That is where 
self-forgiveness is so assisting in releasing the energies and untying these knots and dismantling the traps that are existent between one's mind and one's physical. Basically, the, the, the systems and components and traps that keeps us in a lock, locked down, inferior, scared, you know, emotional, painful, disturbing, um, lesser than ourselves, lesser than our potential. The systems that keep us down, basically, and without the without the opportunity to really to really experience self as one's best potential. So for me, having been committed to mental hospital like 100 times, something like that, uh, I have had I have had benefit from taking medication. I have benefit from taking medication today, still. Uh, but there is very little. Uh, what shall I say? In if you, the help that I was to find from myself from forgiving myself. The help that I was to have from myself, from forgiving myself, was way beyond what any therapeutic conversation with doctors back in the days, or similar to that, could 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 help me. Because when I was when I was to learn to work with self-forgiveness through the layers of my mind, okay, through the layers of my mind. When I worked, was to work with extensive amount of self-forgiveness, I would release such, such amounts of energy bundles, energy conspiracies within me. I would release such a great amount of energy conspiracies and bundles and traps within me that it would become easier for me to breathe from self-forgiveness. So, um, for me, learning my schizophrenia, to understand what is my schizophrenia, learning to work with self-forgiveness, learning to work with mind constructs, and realizing that I am my own greatest helper. I must best help myself through self-forgiveness, through embracing myself, and uniting with myself and standing up for myself basically and, and sharing the solution that I find with self-forgiveness because it is a unique tool to use if you know how to use it. So if you would like to, 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 to know about some basic self-forgiveness uh, recipes, I have a document I would like to share with you about self-forgiveness, about how to use self-forgiveness. Like I say, it's best to do that in this life while we're here on earth, because in the afterlife we are much more limited. And, yeah. So basically, um, schizophrenia is when there is two or three personalities that are active at once in my head, in my mind, two or three personalities that that themselves want to be in control of the, of, of of my being and body, and therefore schizophrenia is a war in the mind, a war in the head between the two and three personalities. So, you know, having that, having that recipe and having insight into myself, into existence from aircraft.com 
and working my destiny I process um, you know I get the full spectrum you get the full deep deep depth uh, understanding of what is life what is this universe we are assisting in and floating on this lightning star of a planet and what are we doing here what is the purpose of our existence you know Aircraft has all the answers so I would definitely recommend I would definitely recommend to check out Aircraft Unlimited plan to see for yourself how you know how can we what can we learn from being such as the Atlanteans the reptilians how can we learn from from animal dimension from the dimension of animals from animals coming through the portal to talk to communicate with us in common sense so uh, for me walking my destiny process and walking uh, listening to aircraft the many recordings on aircraft is a I'm so grateful for that for having that available for for having the opportunity to work to learn to hack my mind, to change the programming of my own mind, to change the programs of my own mind, to learn myself to know, to take direction of my own living. Yes, it is challenging at times, and there are failures, but there is also success, and there's this deep knowing that I'm doing this because it's the best for all, and therefore also best for me. So for me, uh, this is a you know multiple uh, fa multiple po there are several points in this, but um, what I would like to emphasize is that if you're coming from psychiatry or have any sort of mental, and we we all have mental illness. All human beings are mentally ill. Period. There is no human on this earth today that is not mentally ill. We all have fears, anxiety, sorrows, anger, you know, whatever. We all have mental illness. There's no discussion about that. It's just like, yeah, duh, obviously, look in the fucking mirror. So what I would like to outline is that for me coming from mental, uh, from, from uh, psychiatry, there has been no gift greater than the ability for me to embrace myself and forgive myself, to release energy from my body, to release the conspiracies within, and to breathe and to find sanity, to find common sense and a better reality for myself as life so I can be the best for me. Because when I'm best for me, I am best for everybody. If you want to be best for everybody, be best for self. So, yeah, this is just a video about, how, about some basic outlines on how I work my process, what are the key components of mind construct and self-forgiveness, and finding sanity, finding stability as physicality, and you know there is no uh, there is no uh, easy way out. There is no shortcuts. To put it that way. And if we give in to the thinking that positivity will save us, you know, positivity is an act of fear, basically. Positivity is an act of fear, and. You cannot have the plus polarity, the plus positive polarity, without also having the negative uh, emotional polarity, because it's based on polarity. Just like the God and the Atheist is polarity, the God or the Atheist. The Atheist is both Christian and the Christian is also Atheist. It's a polarity. And there is a lot of things existing in our world that are based on polarity. So, 
you know, this is just some brief touchdowns on some various uh, dimensions and um, topics. Check out Destiny. If you want to invest in self, investigatedestiny.org. Check out the ECOF Unlimited plan. You'll be amazed of what information is already here. Uh, if you have questions for me about schizophrenia or self-forgiveness or anything related to that, please, I am here. Let's debate, let's open up, let's cooperate, communicate, and create this life into a better existence for all. So thank you and enjoy!